What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to save an active sheet as a PDF based on a cell value. So I got a request from Anibus asking how to create a code where you can click a button and print an active sheet to PDF based on a cell value and file path and close. Alright, so let's get right into it. I've got a list of countries here with regions and what we're going to do is auto filter by region and then based on that cell value of the region we're going to save a copy of the sheet to this test folder so let me go ahead and add a couple of rows here and then I'm going to write region and then create a drop down so to create the, the drop down I'm going to go ahead and select or highlight all the regions copy them and then paste them to sheet 2 and then I'm going to remove the dupes so now I've got my 11 unique entries here my 11, 11 regions I'll go back to sheet 1 and here I'll click cell A2 and then I'll go to data validation Go to list and then select my source, which is coming from sheet two. I highlight these regions, press enter, and OK. So now I've got my drop down list. All right. So for the sub, let's call the sub sheet to PDF. And we'll declare our variables. We'll just have one variable, we'll call it region. It'll be a string. And what we're going to do first is we're going to activate the sheet, sheet one. Uh, we can name whatever we want, though. Let me change the name to something else. So uh, let's call it countries. Oh, the spelling is terrible. Sorry about that. All right, so we're activating countries. And then we're going to set region equal to cells and we're going to go down to and over one so right here so two one that's the cell that we're going to be referencing and I want the text in that cell so that'll be my region then let me just put a comment here so this is where we're going to filter and our filter is going to start here in a4 so we're going to do range a4 and then auto filter and the field we want is field 2 we want the region so field colon equals 2 and then my criteria criteria 1 colon equal is going to be the region it's going to be this cell here so we'll just type region so we're just filtering all this data by whatever region we choose here All right, so now this part is where we're going to save the PDF. So with my active sheet, I'm going to export as fixed format. And then the type is going to be Excel type PDF. And then I'll do a comma and an underscore to keep the line going. I screwed something up here. Yeah, there should be an equal sign after the colon. Wait. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Okay. So then my file name is going to be the file path. So I'm going to be saving this file to this PC documents test. So I'll copy the address as text and just paste that here. And then I'll do another backslash quotation. And then I'll do an ampersand and an underscore to keep this string going. And then I want to call my file countries. Ooh, I cannot spell country. Sorry about that. Jeez. Of the world. And then 
I'm going to name the file based on whatever region we pick. So I'll do a dash there and then an ampersand and then region. So I'll reference this again. So I'll be taking whatever's in this cell. So my file name will be countries of the world dash Oceana in this, for this example. All right, so that should do it. Um, let's go ahead and run it. So we should see this get filtered by Oceana and then a file named countries of the world Oceana will be saved here, a PDF file. So there we go. Oceana is filtered out, got my PDF saved. Let's open it up and there we go. And then we can, you know, use the drop down, change it up, run it again. Pretty cool. Um, say that you don't want your filter, your um, data to remain filtered after the fact. You can just throw an active sheet and then auto filter mode. You just turn it off so it'll be false so let's change the region again let's go with sub-saharan africa and you see it's not filtered but if i open up the file here i only see that region here so yeah that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like Comment, subscribe. Have a good one.